I had a live stream yesterday. We brought up this concept of doing an all gold build and I kind of started it, but I was like, dude, I could take this gold build a lot further. And so that's what we're doing. I'm going to come up with like everything all gold and have it as a setup. It's going to be like a half a million dollar setup. It's just going to be a complete package to where somebody rolls into RCC and they're like, man, I want to buy that. Most likely they're going to be like a millionaire that rolls in. They're like, I got to have that set up. So the goal is to like, just make everything gold. Like it's going to be crazy gold. Um, if you guys want, feel free to throw out ideas. Pretty much. There's a lot of different things that can make gold here. I have some in mind, but I want to get, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. I kind of want to put it all out front here. The showroom's really cool to have that in the showroom. Like, but it's kind of tough to see behind there. I want to kind of keep the truck in the showroom. We'll see as we go. So I'm thinking right now we'll get a golden Corvette, kind of gold Lambo, maybe like a bronze Lambo. I can't get the Lambo fully gold, but a Lambo. And then I'm going to have like a gold car trailer and maybe, maybe a gold semi gold, golden Kenworth to pull that car trailer in your Lambos. And then I plan to have like a UTV trailer on the back. As you can see, we have a golden razor in there and then a golden UTV trailer on the back where we have another golden four seater razor, maybe a golden camper. I don't know. There's so much to do. I'm just going to, it might be a little unrealistic, but that's what I want to do for today on RCC is just go a complete gold setup and maybe put some of this stuff out front. It kind of, I don't know. I don't want this to be like a, just a corporate type building. Doesn't this kind of look like a corporate building? I want it to be like something different, something like crazy. Cause that's, RCC has got to be exotic, man. We got to go crazy with this. So that's the goal. Okay. Since we have this in here, I'm going to get it out and I should be able to drive this out of here. And we're going to go pick up the golden trailer and golden UTV, a four seater. Actually we may have to customize. I think we're going to have to customize that golden, that golden razor. That's the goal right now to customize that. And then I'll get the two cars, the car trailer, maybe the golden semi. And I want to have this as a complete package. It's going to be over half a million dollars for sure, but everything needs to have golden paint. Now these rims, dude, when we were in the live stream yesterday, people were like, people were like, uh, people were like, go golden rims. I thought for sure it was going to be so bad and so hideous and so ugly, but it looks pretty darn good. It looks sweet with these fuels on here. Okay. Thank God for all wheel steer here. Look at this, man. We can just pull this out like, like nothing. I had a really tough time getting in there, but man, getting it out was really simple you can see we got the lighting on overkill so in case you guys don't know and you're new anyways okay so this is rcc it's a dealership it's kind of a role play dealership we're just gonna make it giant uh we're gonna have toys like over there and on that shed we're gonna have boats there's a lake behind here i want to sell like power I have a power sports store I have a truck dealership maybe a couple exotic cars maybe we'll see it's just kind of we're going with the flow and just adding different things to it but i'll show you guys kind of around by the way, if you guys are looking for any type of gaming PC, check out Apex Gaming PCs. I have a 10% off discount code down below in the description. So 10% off PC, if you buy the beginner squad PC, which is 750 bucks, 10% off takes you down to 675. They're the cheapest PCs compared to competitors and, and some of them, the squad plus right now is cheaper than building your own by $2, by $2. A couple of people have tested it and it's by $2, which is insane. But that's after you use the discount codes and stuff and free shipping in the US too forgot to mention that okay so there is the golden utv trailer that we have to put a golden razor on i'm trying to think of anything else i could put like a golden truck on there too but i'm maybe not a golden razor let's see if we can't get something because we already have a two-seater razor right so why do i need a four-seater razor but with the razors this trailer's meant for the razors because it has straps and the straps will actually strap down the razors so I guess I got to go golden four seater, man. Maybe we'll go tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go tracks on this. So this will be insane. That just looks good, dude. I always think to myself, like, what about the people that just come to the video and don't even know about my channel or don't are and are wondering like, what the heck this is? I'm just trying to think of the thoughts that are going through their head when they like arrive to the channel and they see this car dealership and they're just trying to figure this thing out because it's it's kind of like a it's obviously a simulator and stuff but i don't know i wonder what people think okay so since we're driving i'm turning off all-wheel steer because that was tough pulling the trailer and the trailer was getting caught sometimes but i have two other razors in here that we're gonna sell at the power sports store one of them though i'm gonna turn i'm gonna throw a golden paint job on you can see i have two in there i think one of them's a four-seater for sure and then we might toss some tracks on it that'll look good oh dude once we get that second razor on the back <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be sweet okay so oh we have two here but 
man, they both look good. I don't know what one to take. I, I kind of really like that blue one. We're going to take the black one. Obviously, I'll get more and we'll customize more. So it's okay if I take some of our inventory. It's not like we have any customers too coming in just yet. We're going to customize this one. Turn it to golden. Maybe throw some tracks on her. Okay, here we go. Sometimes I'll show you guys this. Sometimes I'll just do it and edit it out. But this time I want to show you guys it. Oh, man. Okay, I feel like we can't go all gold. That looks so good. That looks so good like that. I, I kind of want to keep it all gold, but man, this black and gold worked in works looks a ton better because like I could go all gold and that's just that doesn't look good. You got to have the black mixed in there, even though this is kind of an all gold setup. We got to go to that jet black. Man, that looks good. Okay, turbo. Since we're going to have tracks, we need all the power possible. <laughs> dude, I think I can go. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Okay, sorry. Sorry. This is just man. This is cool. This is cool. Okay There we go. Wait, don't is it okay? So that one's tires. Okay, and then has gold rims We I think we have rock stars on there. I'll, I'll get it out for you guys in case you guys didn't see it in the past live stream But let me put down these ramps Ah, oh, Dude, this can be fantastic. Okay, there we go trailers ready to get loaded up on we're ah, But the thing is I wish these tracks were a tad bigger. They're kind of small it looks a tad weird on this, but it's fine. It's fine. I can't mod myself, so I shouldn't be complaining at all. Okay, there we go. Load her up. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. What is happening? Okay, there we go. I got it on there, but for some reason, when we went on the incline, the tracks weren't gripping at all. I had to literally lift it up there. So now, this should strap down. There we go. Come on. Oh, so, see, some of them will... Here, let me hit L on the truck and it'll go all the straps at once. There we go. So as you can see, we have one strap here. Oh, we, okay, so we have two straps. It's kind of weird how it straps it down, but at least it straps it down. And maybe I put it on wrong too, but it's, it's partially strapped down. There we go. I feel like we need gold rims on this trailer. I don't know if I want to go gold rims though. Okay, there we go. I know this is going to be too much gold. It's like just saturating gold right now, but that's kind of the idea we're going for with this build. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Overkill's actually having a tough time pulling this, dude. It's going kind of slow. There we go. Now we're starting to crank up. So I want to put this in the showroom. But at the same time, I kind of want to keep this outside and really show it off outside. Okay. If I were to do this, dude. Yes. I can't, dude, I can't help myself. We got to do that. Here, let me put on all-wheel steer so that, like, you get the steering effect on this. That looks sweet. Now, do I keep... Oh, that looks awesome. But I got to figure out... Um. Okay, so I want to get the... I want to get the cars too. And I got to figure out where the cars are going to go. Okay, so I can keep that there. And I can put the cars over here. That would look pretty cool. But then I don't have anything in the showroom anymore. We got to, we'll figure that out. Okay, so let's run through prices as far as prices. Okay, truck. F550 overkill customized RCC special on it. Obviously, there's a little bit of markup because it's a dealership. Somehow, I got to make some money. So, so we'll do 110 for the truck. That actually seems kind of cheap the way I think of it. 110 for the truck because I mean brand new if you think about this truck just bone stock I guess they don't really make an f550 like this customizations it's got to be like 150 for this truck like like this is what I got to price it at because brand new bone stock this truck let's see the closest thing they make an f550 I don't really know the price of f550 or f450 like like stock just a lariat edition it's probably pushing like 80k 90k almost so an f550 I don't know. I, I think at least 150 is what we got to price this truck at. Then this Razor, we'll go honestly a fairly good price of 15. How about this Razor, 35 grand. So we're at 40 for the two Razors. So we're at 190 total. And then this trailer, uh, another five grand. So we're at 195. We'll just round it up to 200. We'll say 200 so far. But then once we get the other gold packages, we could be looking at close to to 800,000 for the whole like complete gold package if somebody wants to come in here just be like I want everything that's gold that's what I'm looking for man just the we're we're shooting for the home run you know you know a truck I would really love to do a gold build on and be like the polar truck is this truck I'd really love to do a gold build I love this truck it's fantastic but I don't have a gold color on it I can get kind of close with the orange but we don't have that true like gold color so we're going with something a little different Still a Chevy. I decided not to go with a semi. We're going to go with a Chevy 4500, a 2019. I tried to get as gold as possible. There's a couple things that aren't gold on it. That's fine. We're going to have to deal with that. 
<laughs> there she is, dude. I wish the flatbed I could do gold or something. I could take the flatbed off and just have it bare bones, but it does not look good without a flatbed. And I was wanting to go gold rims, but I couldn't go. There was no gold rims on it, so it's fine. We'll just have to go. This still looks this still looks pretty sweet. So this is going to pull the car trailer, um, which will have a Lamborghini and Corvette in it. The thing is, I found one on Craigslist. The guy's selling a Lamborghini and Corvette with it. It was like it was made to be true. Didn't even have to go digging at all. It was perfect. All gold set up right there. And so I'm meeting him at the gas station. And we're probably going to pick that up for whatever price. For a fairly good price, I guess. Whatever. A price that's fairly reasonable. But obviously, this is just insane exotic. And there's not many customers. So it's tough to, to like know a fairly reasonable price for it. So... We'll work our way over there and probably pick up that trailer. It's got the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. I want, dude, so for 2019, they don't make a hood scoop for this. That'd be cool if they made a hood scoop for this truck, just like they do with all their other Duramaxes uh, that are like 2017, year 2017 or newer. But it still looks good. Still looks good. Not complaining. Oh, besides the back end of this, I always thought this. The lights look like a Toyota for some reason. Just looking at the back end of these lights... I always get the feeling that this is like from a Toyota truck. Maybe it is, but I, I, I just always get that feeling. I don't know why. Okay, left hand turn. He said he was driving the county line. We're gonna meet at the gas station, so he should be here. Now the trailer I've seen pictures isn't the best. I don't know, we may have to toss a paint job on the trailer. It's not, it's white kind of with gold stripping, so it's not fully gold. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. That sounds, that sounds good. I'm, I'm thinking that's a fair price. Sounds like a deal, man. You too. I'll see you later. Okay, so we got her. We got her. The dude was quick. It was fast. We got her done. Dude, it was so sketchy. It was quick. It was like I, I fired him up in the trailer. I didn't even drive him. And he was like, 300k, you can have him, man. I probably shouldn't have done that deal. But man, that was crazy. <laughs> that, was, that was sketchy. I just, I probably shouldn't be buying stuff that cheap. There's always some. Uh, anyways. Anyways, we're going to hook her up. We're going to get going. Man, there's so many people around this gas station. So once we get back, I'll show you guys the Corvette. I'll show you guys the Lambo. I think this is perfect. This is perfect. Besides, I want to somehow get rid of this white on here. I'm going to toss a paint job on here, but I can't make it all gold because all gold just looks... It's too much, even though I'm making everything all gold. All gold on the trailer is just way too much. It must have been the Expendables Racing Team that owned this before. They must have had a crazy shop somewhere or something and then this guy bought it off them and kept the trailer and the cars in there and just did some stuff with them and then i guess i'm buying it now i think i might i don't know the expendables racing team is uh, they're crazy and stuff but i might get that logo off of there <laughs> dude cars driving are like what the heck dude it's an old gold truck and we made it back to rcc the duramax pull is good dude it is a solid truck solid puller so um okay first i'm gonna unload these in the back because some of these we might have to do some touch-ups to so i might run them through the shop so for now i'm just gonna unload in the back of the shop we'll see here she is the lambo and the corvette now like i said the lambo i can't get to a true gold color the corvette is straight gold but the lambo is kind of a tough color I may try to change up the color to get it more golden-like. It's like a bronze, kind of. Man, this thing is quick. You guys want to see this? Yeah, let me take her down the roadway. Okay, we'll take a left turn. Holy crap, dude. This thing is insane. 113, 120. 130, let's test out the brakes. And the braking's perfect. Real quick, Yui, as long as no cars are coming. It drifts too. Holy crap, dude. I can't keep I can't drive a car like this. So I think this is like one of the few cars to where you can get this to drift. I'm gonna see if I can't get it to drift. And you'll kind of see I don't know, it's kinda tough to tell in farm sim. But you kinda see. <laughs> oh shoot. Chow always drifts with this dude. Let me see if I can't get this to drift a little better. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, the brakes in the brakes in the brakes. But yeah, yeah, you can get it to kind of drift better if I had more of an open area. See, you can get her to swing around. She'll swing. That back end will fly. Okay, let me open up this door. Oh, that's right. You got to go all the way around. So I'm going to open up that up, put it on the lift, and we'll change the paint on that. 
to the best gold color we can get it. I can't get it perfectly gold. I can get kind of close. There's the beast. Just sitting all quiet there. Nice. Okay. Let's toss her on the lift. We'll lift her up. We'll change the paint. Okay, so here's where we're at. I don't... Ah, star is not bad, but it's not a gold color. Can't get that gold. I thought brown silver would be kind of... It kind of is gold. I just can't get the gold color like I want. Hmm. Brown's, brown's brown. It's not gold. Garlic. I don't know if we can sell this in the package if I can't get it gold. Brown silver is probably the closest. Maybe this orange. Not Definitely not blaze orange. Stara, it's not gold though. Okay, the one thing is black may work out good since some of our parts like on the razor and stuff are black. So if I go black, I could maybe sell this with the gold package. I wonder if I could put like, wish you could, I wish there were a couple more color options on this. The Okay, I definitely, I hate these rims on here. I love these, I guess these are the stock ones and these are the premium ones, but the stock ones look so much better with this color. So I might try to go black with this car and I and kind of sell it as a gold build, I guess. Looks pretty slick, dude. I like that. It kind of it kind of fits in over there. So let's go. So kind of almost a black and gold build is what we're doing now. So Lambo right here in the front yard. Nice. Now I got to get back to the Corvette. And the Corvette doesn't need any changes. Take it for a rip. Make sure everything's good. I'll put the Corvette out front. And then we got to make changes to that trailer, which I can't do here. So we're going to have to take that trailer to a different shop. Okay, headphone users, beware. <laughs> this thing is insane. It's kind of, it's on, it's honestly kind of dark. Like it's tough to see sometimes. <laughs> I can't keep control over, dude. The back end starts sliding. Now this, this would be perfect to put in the corner showroom, or showroom. For now, I'm gonna leave it out front though. Dude, I love those headlights. I kinda wanna keep the lights on on these, just because it looks so good. So you got these like LEDs, then you got these off the Lambo. Man, that looks good. Let's turn the wheels. There we go. So this trailer, I'm gonna take it to a trailer shop to see if they, see what they can't do to it. And maybe change this to all gold. Some maybe a black and gold. Since we're kind of going with that black and gold theme, maybe a black and gold trailer would look good. But I'm gonna have them do all the paint work on it. I'm digging it, man. They did a fantastic job. Now I wasn't sure of this. They were like, I think it'll look good with all gold. And I was like, dude, that's too much gold. That looks good. So we want a gold base and then a black trim on it. I wish I could get the. I, I wish I could change the room color. Maybe I'll ask him to do that next time. That looks fairly good. It'll match a truck really nice though. I should get an RC, a giant RCC logo on here. He's a beaut, Clark. Look at that. Look at that. The black rims. If I would have went black rims on the trailer, oh wow, those would have matched peanut butter and jelly. Man, that would have been perfect. Okay, so the last thing is, is where do I put this truck and trailer? Do I put it kind of around the back? Do I put it in the background, like right here? Maybe I could park the trailer like right here, but then it would kind of take, it kind of take away from the whole showroom and stuff. I could, I could kind of do that. I don't know where I should put this truck and trailer actually. I could put it out front. Okay, let's see something. I'm gonna do a little shuffling around here. Move the Lambo out of the way. I am gonna to try to block the dealership a little bit. I hate doing, or the showroom a little bit. I hate doing this, but I'm gonna see how this works out. There we go, so those are moved. I'm thinking I'll have the trucks like facing each other, like kind of cool. So, ah, uh, it's blocking too much. Ah, that's not bad, that's not bad right there. Okay, that's doable, that's doable. That looks good right there. So now maybe X? I kinda, it's gonna kinda block some stuff. I think it's fine right there. And then we'll push the Corvette, or we'll bring the Corvette back. Dude, this is too much gold. <laughs> there we go. And then Lambo off to the side. What are you guys thinking? How's that look? I think this side looks a ton better. But 
this still looks pretty sweet. So that's gonna be kind of that's gonna be there. Hopefully somebody. I mean, obviously we want somebody to buy it, but it looks kind of cool for RCC. I like that one a lot more than I like this setup. Okay, one thing is we gotta fold those in. There's no way the light shining off of it is just like too much. I gotta fold those in. There we go. Now that looks a lot better. That looks pretty good too. I like the Chevy. The Chevy looks real good. But anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end. We got the gold setup complete. This is something I really want to do in live stream. I saw it and I was like, I got to do this next video. So now we have the gold setup there. I really, dude, I'd way rather take that than that, I think. But still, both of them look great. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button. If you're kind of new to the channel, kind of enjoyed this content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys.